Well, good morning. Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms, shaping up to be an, another absolutely beautiful day here in West Tennessee. Um, cool again this morning. Feels really nice. I think we are warming up into the mid 90s today, though, so we better enjoy it here early. But we got a bunch of stuff to do. Guess that's all we can say. Let's get after it. Hey, y'all like the video? Subscribe. We appreciate that. Let's go. Our first stop for the morning is right here. Just check on these stalker steers. Um, we rotated pastures yesterday. You should have already watched that video. But looks like everybody's here. We'll try to get a head count on them. Um, but yeah, again, temperature is nice. Actually, Willis is with me. He wouldn't even get out. Hey, why don't you want to get out? It's cold. He said it's cold. It's about 62, I think, is what my phone said right now. So I wouldn't call that cold, but I guess we've been under a heat advisory for the better part of a week. Um, low 60s does feel cold. But anyway, we got this done. We need to head on up the road. Another thing we want to do this morning before it gets too hot is go ahead and get this bull up and treat him. Just as we can see, looking at him right there, still a little swollen. Um, still has paraphimosis where um, the end of the penis is staying extended outside of the prepuce. puce um, but looks today's Monday looks a thousand times better than he did Saturday looks a whole lot better than he did even yesterday so no don't you get to doing that go on go on don't you be scratching off at me go on go on boy oh boy I'll put you some feed in there in the trough I know it's sunshine over there but it's just for a minute or two that was him down there look he drew it back in there pretty good so. don't know that we'll even have to do this again after today he's looking pretty normal um, still his breeding season's over we got about two more weeks to leave the bulls with the cows but we got up three bulls out there. We don't need him. We're certainly not gonna run the risk of him re-injuring himself. But yeah, we didn't even catch his head. Just want to hose down the hardware here, so not too big of a deal. Yeah, thankful that was a false alarm on the hematoma. If, uh, if you watched our last video. Before we get started clipping pasture, we wanna just ride back here and put eyes on the cows. I'd really like to find that newest baby we just tagged a day or two ago. Um, we don't normally have new babies this time of year when we're clipping pasture. Um, so it's usually not a concern of a baby potentially, you know, hunkering down, laying out there, kind of like a, a fawn would, but never run over a calf mowing pasture and I don't want to start today so we could at least lay eyes on him kind of get a general idea of his whereabouts before we get started I don't know I have not seen his mom as mad as we made her when we uh, tagged him she may not be eager to, to give away their location um, actually there they are down there in the creek. <laughs> so, good deal. <laughs> One of the bulls lounging in that old tank there that was used for a pipe. Obviously, you can tell um, that pipe's not really functioning as a culvert. It has not been for a while, but kind of a unique spot for the bull to lounge. But, obviously, stays pretty cool in there. You got water nearby. These gals enjoying a nice, cool bath. Yeah, so there's the newest calf. Good deal. We'll leave them alone. So, obviously, she can move. I'm sure she will. They're not going to stay in the creek all day. But we know his rough whereabouts. So I'll to keep the place on that. This pasture, all these broadleaf weeds. We need to get clipped down is the main thing. There's still good grazing in here. A lot of Bermuda. You see some, of course, some fescue like we have everywhere, some clovers. But we're going to go get on the tractor and get to mowing.
may be able to notice we're not we're not peeling the ground by any stretch of the imagination actually running the mower up pretty high basically we're just wanting to knock uh knock those weeds back you know where the fescue has headed out we like to uh knock those seed heads off the fescue as well but we really don't want to want to cut down you know the leafy parts of the grasses um so obviously that's that's our feed that's what cows are eating that's what we were trying to make money <laughs> grazing cattle but yeah you know, the weeds out here just just about taking over um it's on some of the pasture ground we ran so it's also nice too to just keep it looking better um you know, landowner is going to be probably much more willing to continue to allow us to rent if we keep it looking nice and not just looking nice but actually managing the pastures in a way that are better for the pasture itself so finally got done with this farm blew the drone a bit on the other side of the creek the weeds were a lot worse over there a lot more pasture on this side too up on these hills is beautiful but cow herd over here lounging take one more look at them sunflower seeds i'm comfortable admitting that i think i have an addiction to them now but yeah they feels nice over here in these in the shade i think we got like two more days before we get back into triple digit temperatures so pretty comfortable here even like i said at 2 45 in the afternoon but we'll take a look at them they're not quite as easy to watch when they're over here on this side of the creek just from the house but we are going to head on up the road to the pasture where the stalker steers are probably won't get much clip today maybe an hour or so Kaylin's going to come pick me up that way I can just leave the tractor and the mower there and this weekend or whenever I have some more time off I'm just going to and jump on it and roll on and out here I'm I guess relatively proud to say we don't have a lot of weeds we're just running the mower all the way up just knocking the heads off this fescue uh, all of you can kind of appreciate where we mowed where we had but um, just don't have as much special on this end of this farm that really even needs mode but we'll go ahead and say knock these seed heads back don't want to make it sound like we don't have any weeds we have some thistles here and there whoa but rough coming across there we are lowering the mower down whenever we hit these spots where the thistles are a little worse <laughs> Some old ride finally showed up to get me, but she wouldn't pull back there where I was mowing. So, had to walk out. But, yeah, may probably wrap it up for this one. We, uh, yeah, got a lot of stuff done today. Mostly some pasture clipping. Got that bull treated. Looks like he's in good shape. Um, I don't know, got a lot of stuff coming up. Gonna hope to get a little fertilizer put down maybe this weekend. But, um, yeah. A service right there came to get me it's the end of the video what do we say eat beef and god bless there you go